Hi, welcome to our uh, Pharma Topics channel. Our uh, topic of uh, discussion is uh, antidepressives. The drugs in this category either raise the threshold of the cough center or reduce the tussle impl impulses from the respiratory tract or both. They control the cough and they does not eliminate it. Antidepressives uh, should be used only for non-productive or dry cough. It is required only in patients with unduly tiring, disturbing sleep or if the cough is hazardous. For example, in case of hernia, piles, cardiac disease or patients undergoing ocular surgery. Before treatment with the antidepressives, it is important to identify the underlying cause of the cough. So, wherever possible, treating the underlying disease is important and not the cough. Let us see the drugs used in this uh, category. So, one is opioid antidepressives. They are uh, codeine, hydrocodone, ethyl morphine, folcodine, non opioid antidepressives, noscapine, dextromethorphan, clofenadiol, uh, prenadoxazine, local uh, anesthetics such as uh, benzonate, neuromodulators uh, such as pregabalin, gabapentin, H1 antihistaminics, bronchodilators can also be used as antidepressives uh, such as uh, beta 2 sympathomimetics. Uh, beta 2 methyl uh, xanthines and anticholinergics. Other drugs uh, are the new drugs uh, include uh, moguestin and theobromine. Let us see the opioid antidepressives first. Uh, the drugs in this category include codeine and hydrocodone. It is a opium alkaloid more selective in inhibiting the cough center. Uh, the abuse liability is uh, low. Adverse effects include constipation which is more common. Alertness may be impaired. Higher doses of these drugs can cause respiratory depression. Next is ethyl morphine. It is similar to codeine and it is uh, less constipating. Next is folcodine. It is similar to codeine, long acting and non addicting. The next is a non opioid antidepressives. Noscapine, or otherwise called as narcotin, it depresses the cough center. Non narcotic, it has no analgesic activity or dependence liability. It is equipotent as uh, codeine and is useful in uh, spasmodic cough. The adverse effects are headache and nausea which are more common. It is contraindicated in asthmatics because it can release uh, histamine leading to bronchoconstriction. Next drug is uh, dextromethorphan. It is a synthetic uh, NMDA antagonist. It does not depress the mucociliary function of the airway mucosa. It is non-addicting and non-constipating. The adverse effects are dizziness, nausea and uh, drowsiness. Clofenadiol is a centrally acting antidepressive with weak antihistaminic, anticholinergic and local anesthetic properties. Pranox diacine, it is uh, developed in Hungary. It exerts uh, antidepressive action by desensitizing the pulmonary stretch receptors. Tussle impulses originating from the lungs are also suppressed. The next is a benzonate. It is a local anesthetic, acts peripherally and suppresses the stretch receptors in the respiratory passages, lungs and pleura. The adverse effects include dizziness and dysphagia. The neuromodulators include gabapentin and pregabalin that inhibits neurotransmission, which is useful in neuropathic pain syndromes, suppresses the neural hypersensitivity related to idiopathic cough. The adverse effects are somnolescence and dizziness. The other drugs in this category include uh, moguestin that acts uh, peripherally and opens uh, ATP sensitive potassium channels. Theobromine is a naturally occurring uh, methyl xanthin which suppresses the cough. The next is antihistaminics, chlorpheniramine, diphenhydramine, promethazine. They afford relief in cough due to their sedative and anticholinergic properties, but they lack the specificity for the cough center. They are useful in providing relief from cough resulting from the respiratory allergies. The bronchodilators can also be useful uh, occasionally. Beta-2 sympathomimetics, methyl xanthines and uh, anticholinergics are useful in controlling cough which are associated with bronchoconstriction. So, it is a very short nutshell information of the cough uh, suppressants which are antidepressives. I hope it will be useful for you. Thank you for listening. Happy learning. Kindly share this to more of your friends. Kindly subscribe to our Pharma Topics channel. Series of videos are available in Respiratory Pharmacology in the Pharma Topics channel. Kindly go through it. It will be helpful for you. Thank you.